the big fights here tonight. The fans really looking forward to this one. Features Eamon McGee from Ardoin against Mark Winters of Antrim. So let's pick that one up now with commentary again from Jim Lee. Eamon McGee in red, the 1989 silver medalist in the World Championships and a gold medalist in Rome that same year in a, in a top multinationals event. Leads the man in blue, Mark Winters, by 5-4 on the computer scoring at the end of the first round. Um, I'm sure altogether that I would have agreed with that. Well, a nice little attack by Winters, but the uh, punch is not really landing with any great force. McGee very much on the retreat. He did have a little spell at welterweight, but looks much stronger at light welter. And Winters uh, has moved up from light. He seems to be coping reasonably well with the extra three and a half kilograms. McGee hasn't uh, lost at domestic level since the Ulster Senior Final in 1991 when he lost to Eddie Fisher. Oh, a good left by Winters, and uh, I think he may have closed the gap in this the second round. 5-4, remember, to McGee at the end of the first. a slap from Winters. Interesting, it's been uh, Winters who seems to have been forcing the pace, because normally that's uh, the 40 of Eamon McGee. He certainly did that in his uh, two final defeats to Eddie Fisher and came off second best. Snappy little jab from the left of Eamon McGee. coming through with a forearm and don't do that says Sean Canavan that's a good chap I'm not surprised the pace has uh, slowed down a little bit in the second round because the first was very brisk and a good right from Winters as he comes forward about 10 seconds remaining at the end of the second and it could all well go down to the third and final run and that's the way perhaps it should be in these senior finals and another good round and there's uh, two Irish international teammates acknowledging each other's expertise That's a good attack by uh, Winters. McGee got away from the right, but couldn't escape the left. Well, there's been a turn round at the end of the second. McGee led 5-4 in the computer scoring at the end of the first, and uh, Winters picked up four points to McGee's one, so it's eight for Winters and six for McGee. And uh, Eamon McGee champion here two years ago a fair old bit to do now but uh, two points at this level is not a great deal Sean Canavan giving a little caution not a warning remember to Mark Winters the man in blue from the Antrim Boxing Club both of them Irish internationals Their teammates last September in Bursa in Turkey at the European seniors Ireland just sent uh, four boxers three of them from Ulster these two McGee at light welter, Winters at light, and Damien Kelly was the third Ulsterman. And Winter just being first of the punch, and uh, it's not often you see him and McGee put on the back foot like that and put under pressure. Well, there is, of course, the possibility that uh, Winters might opt to. Uh, Moved down to lightweight in terms of Commonwealth selection, but uh, if he's happy enough 
and successful at right welter, then I suppose why should he? A trickle of blood coming from the nose of Eamon McGee. And it's Winters who's looking the more composed and confident. Good footwork by McGee. McGee breathing a little bit heavily. He's got very scrappy in this third and final round. Remember, just two points between them. Eight to Winters, six to McGee. Eight for Blue. Six for Red at the end of the second. A minute to go. And three or four good scoring punches could make the difference. And uh, Winters will need to watch himself because if he does that once more and Sean Canavan gives him a warning, it's going to cost him a round. And that may well cost him the contest. About 30 seconds remaining and uh, much more tentative than they have been all the way through. Winter's not landing. He did get him with a left as McGee came in and it's McGee who's looking the more tired. Winters has come forward. That's a bit of slapping again, I think. And it's a much more low-key aim in McGee than I've seen for some time. And a good little flurry by Winters, and that may just have been enough to maintain the differential and deny Eamon McGee a second title and give Mark Winters a fourth successive Ulster Championship title, but the first at light welter. The Smithwick's Ulster Senior Light Welterweight Champion for 1994 and holder of the Richard Cup by computer scoring 12-8, Winters in the blue corner. Yes, I don't think Eamon McGee can complain about that. A very good second and very good third gives Mark Winters a full successive Ulster title. And he goes home with the Oprichard Cup for the light welterweight division.